I'm sorry, but the music in this is horrifying. If I was okay, this sounds this sounds better, but the beginning of it was horrifying. If I was new to Minecraft, I would think it's a horror game. <laughs> wow. Now, just as a reminder, in case you want to play around with the new 1.20 features, all you gotta do is go into data packs and then while before you create your world and then enable the update 120 data pack. Add that, done, proceed. And now you can go ahead and create the, your world and the 1.20 features are going to be in that created world. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Minecraft 1.20 Snapshot 23W04. I wanted to make a video on the snapshot because I think it is quite significant and they have added something that it appears that a lot of people, including myself, is very, very happy about. And that is regarding armor. First off though, I want to try and add some enchantments to this chest plate because apparently the enchanting glow is now more subtle. I'm not sure if I see the difference, but I'm not sure if I know what I'm looking for either. Maybe the diamond armor is a bad example. Let's try the iron armor. Maybe less sharp edges and more maybe smooth. I'm not seeing a huge difference, but maybe if I take a look in an older snapshot or in Minecraft 1.19, I'll definitely be able to see the difference. I'll pull up the two perspectives on screen right now. But anyway, that is not the only thing or the primary thing of why we're here. It's this. Now this looks like a bunch of different runes and that is because the smithing table has been reworked. If we go in here, as you can see, we now have, well, the UI has been changed completely. And the way that it works is you no longer use it as the same, in, or in the same way, I should say. Right, if I go ahead and place, like I can't, I can't even place things in here. And that's because you now use what is called smithing templates. And smithing templates allows you to do different things within the smithing table. So if you want to netherite upgrade, for example, you need to get the smithing template. So you add this, then these areas get unlocked and you can go ahead and upgrade your tools. Now, as you probably saw there, I needed to use the smithing template netherite upgrade in order to upgrade my netherite gear. And you can't actually craft these, you need to find them. The netherite upgrade smithing template can be found randomly in all bastion remnant chests and there's a guarantee of two in every treasure room bastion remnant. Now this increases the time players utilize diamond equipment before netherite because before you could basically get netherite fairly quickly if you got certain things up and going. And like I said to so the change log, it makes the netherite equipment a more significant achievement in the game's progression and I 100% agree. Now you can go ahead, when you have found a template, you can go ahead and duplicate it just like this and you basically get a copy. Now this is of course expensive as it should be but there you go. So when you've found one, if you have the materials to do so, you can get more of them after just finding one. Now, as you probably saw, that is not the only template. There are a bunch of different templates. And as you can see, they are for armor trims. So if I go ahead and get some, let's get some iron armor. Let's get some iron armor out here. And I want to now decorate it because yes, ladies and gentlemen, we can now decorate our armor. So. If I take some of these different trims out for demonstration purposes and I go ahead and get, let's get gold. Let's, let's get gold ingots out here and let's head into the smithing table. If I go ahead and add these right here, as you can see, it shows up right here. Put a piece of armor here, put, a piece, put an ingot or crystal here. So you add this and this and this smithing template gives this type of decoration to your armor. I could do the chest plate and it has this uh, pattern right here, this right here. And this doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to be gold, by the way. We could use redstone. We could use diamond if we wanted to. Pretty sure we could use, yep, we could use, for example, quartz as well. In fact, I'll get the list right here. We could use iron, copper, gold, lapis, emerald, diamond, netherite, redstone, amethyst, and quartz. I would actually love to see how amethyst would look. So if we take this in here again, a chest plate, 
as you can see, we're getting the same pattern from the template here, but the color changes depending on, I love that, depending on the resource that we use. Okay, that looks sick. That actually looks sick. Now, what I want to show is that, of course, we have different uh, templates. And as you can see, depending on the template, we get a different type of pattern, just like so. And that leaves a lot of different armor, uh, like the customization here. So if I say, let's say I take this. No, I think I want this one for the chest plate. And let's put this in. Let's do the leggings. And I think I want some more amethyst because I think it looks great. So put this in amethyst. Do I like that? Do I like, I like that more, I think. No, that. All right. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different combinations we could do. And you don't have to do the same color for every piece. You could go ahead and use different colors for different pieces. So let's say I now want my helmet to be gold because let's say I am uh, on an SMP and playing the role of king. Okay, maybe I would then use a gold helmet, but <laughs> still, I can go ahead and change this. And just some of them are just subtle details, but they're there. Let's say I want a gold one and let's say I want my boots to be red. But look at the difference here, for example. Huge difference. Just like that. I want these. And just like that, I have customized my armor. And I, I pressed C to zoom in, but I don't have a zoom mod here. <laughs> I have customized my armor a lot. And this, of course, doesn't only work with iron armor. It works with all armor except for leather. So if I want a netherite helmet, and let's say I want that pattern, boom, I can have a netherite helmet with that pattern. Only thing to remember is you can't have the armor that you have. So let's say an iron chest plate. You can't have an iron chest plate and then use iron as the material to put onto it. However, if I had a diamond chest plate, if I had a diamond chest plate, I could put iron on it, but I can't put diamond on a diamond chest plate. That wouldn't make any sense. But you can do stuff like this. Nice. Now, the way that you find all of these different templates are throughout your world and throughout different areas. And just to give some examples, in jungle temples, you will be able to find the wild armor template. Another example would be the Vex armor trim. No, that's not right. <laughs> Vex armor trim, which is found in woodland mansions. And finally, for example, another fortress, you would potentially be able to find if I could type properly, there's the rib armor trim. I will leave a link to the change to the Minecraft change log down below in the description. So you can check out where you can find all the different templates for yourself. One thing to note is they do have different uh, rarities and each template basically has a different material as you can see when we look at them and that can then be used to well duplicate them. So just like we duplicated the netherite template, you can go ahead and duplicate these templates as well once you find them, which of course makes them very valuable. If you are in the SAP, for example, find one, the other players may not have found it and you can now sell off the template and get quite probably quite a lot of whatever you use as currency on the server for it. However, keep in mind, some templates are not necessarily found in chests. For example, the Ocean Monument, instead of finding it in chests, I'm pretty sure it's this one, the Elder Guardians sometimes drop a smithing te template upon death. Also, some armor trim smithing templates are rarer than others, so that's a good thing to keep in mind as well. But I think that is pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video, that you can now customize armor. I mean, this is just amazing. Before you just had, well, one piece of armor, but now every armor and every player on a server can have their own unique set of armor. I mean, look at this. Netherite with green stripes with emerald, emerald crystals embedded into it. I absolutely love it. So I know this was a little bit of a short one, but that's pretty much all I wanted to feature in this because I thought it was such a huge thing and well, great thing that Mojang has added and I absolutely love it. 
So guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss if I do another snapshot update video again. But with that, I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye.